Hello, it's Kerbler here today. Um, I just really wanted to create a YouTube channel on Kerbal Space Program because Kerbal Space Program, let's face it, is a really amazing game. It's only in alpha or beta or whatever it's in, and it's still really cool. Um, it's nowhere near completion, and I can't wait until it's done because that's going to be amazing. But, um, yes, I just created it. Oh, sorry, it's some thunder going on in the background. Maybe it's the Kerbal's rocket flying away from them. But, anyways, um, so yeah, I just created a YouTube channel called Kerbler because I really wanted to play this game and mess around with it with you guys. So, I, I'm not going to say I'm really good at Kerbal Space Program because it's not true. Um, I've managed to land a rocket on Duna. I'm really close to, close to getting an orbit around Jewel. I keep trying, but I keep failing. So today, I'm going to be messing around with some mods. As you can see, I have the Lazor system mod right there. I don't know why it's spelled Lazor. My friend Zach claims that's because it sounds cooler. I'm not sure if he's right, though. Hmm. Maybe I'll go ask the mod creator sometimes. Oh, sorry. Lag. But as you can see, I have about 16 mods installed. The Fire Spitter Pack, the Anvil Rockets mod, the B9 Aerospace mod. Those are the big ones. I also have KW Rocketry. Oh, that's a pretty big one. Keythane, laser system. I have a bunch of stuff. Mostly really popular mods. But um, I'm going to make a plane today because I really like making planes, even though I usually fail at making them. Let's see. Um, you don't know, no, we're building a rocket. <laughs> I give up. Planes, rockets it is. Let's see. Vehicle assembly building. What should I make, though? I, I like making rockets, but... I'm not sure what to make. Hmm. Um. I could make a missile. I like making those. They're kind of fun. The laser system mod. The bombs. But instead, I'm going to make a rover box again. I want to make... I've enjoyed making rovers and uh, putting them inside of parachutable boxes. Parachutable. Um... Where, where's a good thing for war? This thing's pretty good for a rover. I think, I'll put a command seat on it too, in case a Kerbal wants to get in. Because I plan on bringing a rover to Duna at one point, uh, so that I can just drive it around, you know, and have fun. Oh my god, so many mods, it takes forever to get through these pages. Yeah, yep, yeah, pass by our spitter, yep, yeah, and here we go. So when you actually want to get something default, you can't, because you have to go through all the other stuff. Let's see, right there, that looks good. Um, put a decoupler on it because I'm going to need it later. And then I'll go and slap a external command seat. Um, I can't wait till they bring resource gathering into Kerbal Space Program. I don't know about you guys, but I think it sounds pretty awesome. Um, I've heard that they're going to add, like, kind of like Keythane or something like that. I'm not sure. I haven't read up on it too much, but I think it would be really cool. Let's put... Oh, God, those are too big. No, we don't want those. Those are too big, too. My rover is too small. Oh, well. Does it really need a power source? No, it does. Oh, wait, there's another one right here. What's the difference? I don't see much of a difference. Photovoltaic panels... Ah, we'll just put, like, a couple of them in the back. That's, that's not too hard to do. I hate when you're trying to build things horizontal in the vehicle assembly building. So, yeah, this is uh, going to be basically a, a messing around series where you guys just get to see me messing around in Kerbal Space Program. I'll do more interesting things in the future. I just wanted to start off with some really simple messing around, like, stuff. Um, nope, wrong button. I believe no. That's for the vehicle assembly building or the space plane hangar. How do I flip this thing around? There we go. Oh, and of course, when I try and do that, oh well. Oh, that that'll be perfect actually. So when I put it here, it'll aha. Cheating the system, I see. Amazing. All right, that looks pretty good. Probably won't get very far, but do I look like I care? No, I don't. So. I'm going to try and put the rover in a box using some of the stuff from the B9 Airspace mod. That's my initial plan. Okay. Put the ball. Stack 
two of these on top of each other. There we go, so when it decouples it should fall off. It's pretty good. And oh wait, oh, I've got a better idea. How about these things? Ah! Ha ha! Get out of here. Bit big, but oh well. I mean, I can deal with it. I hope. Uh, I don't want one that's too big. Not the 8x8. Eight eight. That's probably the biggest one I can have. A little too small. 4x4. Four four. That's what I was looking for. Ooh. Mm, meh. Meh. Two by two? Here's this. I'll, I'll put a 2x2 two two on each side because the way that these things are wanting to play not very good. Um, oh, just ignore. Escape the Skype thing in there. I probably should have moved my screen a little bit over to the sides so that things like that don't get in the way of the video. But once again, this is a learning experience for me. I, I've made YouTube videos before, but I've never made any successful ones. I know. I, I feel bad for myself. Um, this is going to take forever. I'm not, I'm not doing that. You know, I got a better idea. Yep, this is what happens every time I try and make something in Kerbal Space Program. I think, oh, yeah, I'm going to go make a space plane that can go do blah, blah, blah. And then I go and do it, and I'm like, no, actually, I'm going to build something in the Vehicle Assembly Building. Hmm, but what? And I go into the Vehicle Assembly Building, I'm like, okay, I'll build a rover. And then when I start to build a rover, then I think, oh, you know what? I'm not building a rover anymore. I'm building something else. Um, you guys get to see what I'm building, of course, because you're in the video. Of course, I might not upload this, which I hope I don't, because, or I hope I do upload it, but I hope I don't not upload it, if that makes any sense to you. Because, you know, it's more fun to upload things than it is to not upload things. Because I'm sure you guys would have an amazing time watching this, don't, wouldn't you? I mean, because I'm, like, so interesting. Like, so intense. Oh my god, so intense. Double rainbow! So intense. I'm sorry. Isn't my problem that I'm being too quiet because my mic is all messed up? I don't know. But I do admit my mic is messed up and it uh, doesn't like me very much. Ooh, that's a nice little mount. Okay. As you can see, I'm making a missile platform. I'm going to test out some of the different missiles on a rover. I've tested the, the missiles out before, um, but I've never tested them out while they're moving. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice little place for it. Um, now, the I have the pirated weaponry mod, um, but I'm not entirely sure what it does. See, as you can see, this thing, the Thrill Master, I've never gotten this thing to work. Um, yeah, I just haven't gotten it to work. It comes with a couple of other things. I haven't used this, actually. I uh, don't know what it does. I'm pretty sure I know what this does, actually. Why, would I, why am I using this? Let's use this so we can actually test it out. Oh god, that's big. It's bigger than the cruise missile. Oh my goodness. That's that's insane. Oh, that that doesn't fit on my little tiny rocket. Is it bigger than the laser bomb? Laser guided bomb? Oh my god, it is. Wow. Uh it's bigger than the stupid nuke that I can't get working? No. Alright, well. Wow. Uh I'm afraid that, that thing's just going to crash into the railing when I try and take off. You know, oh well. Rain, rain, rain. Have fun ruining the video quality. Yes, I know. That's what you love to do, isn't it? Funny thing is that the thing that uses power is covering up the solar panels. So, you know, just like, wonderful there. But anyways, let's try it. Oh, it's going to be way too back heavy, isn't it? <coughs> oh well. I still have a decoupler on it, so... Yeah, it's interesting. Let's see what will happen. Yes, yes, yes. Lag. Lag all you would like, computer. Lag all you would like. Okay. Let's see about this. See how it'll work. Um, I'm not doing my, uh, my window in full screen, uh, which I normally do, but I've found the video quality so much better in smaller screen. Because in full screen, 
what it does is it um, is it tends to flash, and I don't know why it does that. Oh, oh wait, there might be an issue here. No, I thought there was. Okay. Thank you, game, for listening to my rover's plans. Oh god, I didn't know that was a ledge. Uh, whoops. Don't blow up, missile. That would not be fun. Flip over, flip over. Oh. Well, let's try that again. Um, now, about my plans for this channel. S shut up, Rain. Oh my god, it's it's not helping. Oh well. About my plans for this channel, I was thinking about doing uh, some actual series instead of just me messing around and expecting you guys to have fun with it. Right now, I'm just trying to explain what I'm going to be doing in the video mainly, or in the series. Um... I'm planning on doing one where, if you guys have seen the World War K series, which I think is done by Enter Elysium, he's, I really like that series. It's given, it's tell, told me a lot about Kerbal Space Program, and I thought it'd be really cool if I do a series kind of like it, because I thought it'd be really cool to do the kind of film tricks that he does with it, and uh, I just think it'd be really nice. Something like it. So I'm trying to come up with something uh, kind of with the same idea, but nowhere near, like, I don't want to copy him or anything, because that would be mean. But, you know, nobody likes being mean. Do you? Because that, that would be mean if you do. But anyways, uh, it's going to be hard for me to get a YouTube channel to actually be good. My friend Dylan has actually made a very nice YouTube channel. Um, and he's got it, gotten it to be very successful. I have made one that got about 200 views overall. Yeah. Congratulations to me. Oh my god, the sound effect for that thing is weird. But I really like the explosion effects for some of these missiles. Now, the bombs have a horrible explosion effect. They're just awful. I mean, I hate them. They don't look good. But the missiles have amazing ones, especially the uh, cruise missile. All right. Now, if I can get... I really want to find out how to use the laser system mod. I just... All right. Yeah, ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore the Skype thing in the corner. Okay. Let's, I, I really want to learn how to use the laser system, because I know very limited things right now. Deploy. Boom. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. That's not what it was supposed to do. Well, at least the rover's intact. I mean, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> it does a front flip and just, like, lands perfectly. Well. I'm not sure, but I think that that missile doesn't actually have any warhead, so I don't think it really explodes. I think it's basically like launching a decoupler at something, or a piece of scrap. Okay, well, since I have a little bit of extra time in this video, um, I'm going to go to the Space Center and show you some of the things that I've done in Kerbal Space Program so far. Uh, I've lost some of the things that I did for... I'm not going to tell you what reasons. But I've made... Keythane satellites by the million, um, and eventually I realized there's a bug, at least with them for me, that they every time I log out of Kerbal Space Program, their map that they make gets erased. Yay. And I have a nice little splashdown untitled spacecraft over here. I wanted to send a rescue mission to go get it, but uh, I never did so. Which is a shame. As you can see, tons of Keythane satellites. Uh, super landers orbiting Kerbin. You're a lander, though. You're not supposed to be around... Oh, because I edited it to be a satellite. Okay. That's actually a... Um, on an escape trajectory out of... Oh, yeah, this was my attempt to get to Jewel. It ran out of fuel, so I ejected the Kerbin out of it. The Kerbal out of it. And uh, now he is escaping from Jewel. So have fun, Bob. Uh, Untitled Spacecraft is also on its way. Minmus first landing. This was my first landing on Minmus. I've never gone to Minmus before. And I thought, hey, it'd be kind of fun too. I've gone to the Mun, I've gone to Duna. Why not Minmus? Come on. So I planted a flag and put a Kerbal there. I do not plan on bringing him back. So he gets to just stay there. I didn't make a return vehicle or anything. But the rocket I sent with him had more than enough fuel. Way too much fuel. I had a whole second or fourth stage that could have used. I mean, a whole nuclear engine stage that I just ditched and didn't use at all. So maybe I'll use that rocket later on. That's what I tried to get to Jewel with, but I failed. Focused, untitled spacecraft. Where is this? Landed, oh, landed at Minmus. 
Derp. Anvil orbiting Kerbin. Yeah, this was using some of the Anvil Rocket Mod. I messed around with it a bit. And there's just a bunch of Keythane satellites like this. Keythane Fort to win. I don't know. I, I was bored and I, I'm really bad at naming rockets, okay? Just don't blame me. Let's see. Did, is the map thing going to work? Or is it just going to... Oh, and around the Mun, I have another Keythane satellite. It's a lot of Keythane on the... Yeah, see, and it also deactivates all the detectors and all, while wiping the map, which is real helpful. Considering I used to have the, almost the whole thing done. Ah, you silly Kerbal Space Program. Why do you do this to me? Oh, well. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, I plan to do many new episodes in the future. Uh, if you like the series of me just messing around, building random stuff, uh, just go ahead and tell me. I don't know why you would say that, though, because I, I do have to admit, this wasn't that entertaining, even for me to do, because I didn't even have a goal. But um, maybe I'll do some videos with Zach in the future, who also plays Kerbal Space Program. He's a little bit worse than I am, but we like to kind of do uh, co-missions together where we try and get to planets. Like, the Minmus one, uh, we were in a Skype call helping each other build our rockets, and Zach never got to Minmus. Um, and I forgot the landing legs, so if you were to look at the rocket, you'd notice it has no landing legs. But I'm Kerbler, and you have a nice day looking up videos about Kerbal Space Program and uh, sitting in your mother's basement like I know you are. Even though you're probably not, but... Alright, this is just getting awkward. Um, I'm going to say goodbye now, and bye.